The last time I filled up our restaurant activity kits was back in December, and so it's been a while, and it's time to refill them with something fresh and new that's not holiday and Christmas related. I use these little kits to take with us to the restaurant so we have something to do while we're waiting for our food. We do them together or they do them alone, but people have also been known to use these when they're traveling in airplanes, they're, they're going to the doctor's office, or even church. So lots of different ways to use them. I just like them at the restaurant. So I'm gonna show you what I'm putting in them this time, and plus I have a giveaway of a restaurant kit item that fits great in here and that giveaway is sponsored by Think Fun. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. It's been a while for our activity kits, hasn't it? Definitely has and I can feel it because we went to the restaurant the other night and some of these things in here are just You'll see, they're just, they're done and they're old. So I needed to refresh them, but I have to admit, I had to go get some inspiration for some new ideas because I'm having a hard time finding some new things to put inside of here. So if you have some ideas, you're gonna have to let me know down below in the comments. And because of that, I did do a small shopping trip over to Hobby Lobby this morning. So let's go over there real quick and then we'll come back here and I'll show you some things that I found. I'm at Hobby Lobby right now and I'm looking for some Valentine's things for our restaurant kits, but I'm in Easter, so I need Valentine's. I already have Easter out. Crazy. Oh, here we go. All right, you guys, I have to show you this. It's not what I'm here for, but this is a really cute. They're little pizza boxes. <laughs> There's 24 in here. And so it's, you have a pizza, pizza, my heart. That's really, really cute. They have quite a bit. I'm looking for things that will work really well in our restaurant kits. Like, look at these. These are super adorable. Little doggy foam craft kits. Looks like you can make 12 in there. That's great for class. <gasps> these are cute too. Little love bugs. Whoa, look at this giant bag of gems. That's good to know. I don't need this, but it's just pretty. <laughs> Looks like we have some more up here. This? Jump up characters. Makes eight. Oh, the little, little springs. That's cute. I like them a lot. And there's this dino kit. Looks like it's a dinosaur valentine kit. And that makes 12. And then we have a unicorn kit. This is not what I need though. All right, I think something like this would do. Or maybe this. I got some things and now I'm gonna look around and go home and put together my restaurant kits. So I did find some things. I have kind of a mini haul. It's not very much. I just want to show you what I got real quick. Not everything I found was for the restaurant kits because I got distracted and I think you know what that is like. So it's probably okay. But I wanted to show you a couple of things that I bought real fast before we get into the restaurant kits. Um, diamond painting. I got these two diamond painting kits. They are a uh, little bit easier than the ones for adults. My daughter has gotten really into diamond painting. I've talked about this on my day in a life and over on Instagram. And so for Valentine's Day, I picked up two kits that we can give them for gifts. And they were also on sale. So those aren't going in the restaurant kits, but I did find two things in the Valentine section that I really like. First one is kind of a mini heart diamond painting kit. And this is probably too small with lots of tiny little pieces that I wouldn't put it in a restaurant kit because it's just, it's too much. And I would be like worried about the mess. So we're gonna keep this for a rainy day project, but I wanted to show you that I got it. Um, it's just a really small, tiny kit that I think my girls will like. And then I did find this foil art kit and I'm gonna open this and show you more about it when I show you what's in our restaurant kit. Make sure Sure to watch all the way to the end because that's when I'm going to talk about the giveaway that's sponsored by Think Fun. So I always like it when I can give things away to you guys. So be sure to watch all the way through for that and it will be worth it. I have two restaurant kits because I have two kids and I like to use these boxes. You guys always ask me where I get these. So I have to tell you they're from Daiso Japan. They are only a dollar fifty at Daiso. However, not everybody has a Daiso near them. So if you really, really, really want one of these, you can get them on Amazon. They do cost a little bit more and I'll put a link down below in, in the description 
description box for you if you really want one of these. I just like them because they have the handle, they are a hard shell case, I can see through them, and then they're a really good size because if it doesn't fit in here, it doesn't come with us, and it kind of keeps me down to a limit of what I can take with us. So that's why I like them, but you can use whatever you have, backpacks, book bags, those are the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> and clipboards, anything that you have, just, just use it, and it'll be just as fine and work just the same. But if you really, really want this one, I'll put a link down below. Okay, so let's get on to this and then the giveaway right after that. So as I said, and most of you all know, I have two kids and our ages right now are six and a half and eight. So I do try to keep these gender neutral. However, there are equivalents if you want something that's more gender specific. And then also if you wanna see things from past videos, I highly recommend checking out my playlist of activity kit videos because I started this when my kids were super small and so now that they're bigger, I tend to do things that are age appropriate. So if you're looking for things for younger kids, check out my older videos because the things I put in those kits are still available today and are great finds too. I do like to show you what worked and did not work. And of course that's gonna be different per child, but I'll tell you about what worked for us this time. This is my youngest kit and as you can see, she has gathered crayons from every restaurant we've gone to. So we're gonna just pull these aside for now. She didn't use the pens at all, so we're gonna take those out. We use these periodically, but she didn't happen to use them this time. This was a coloring book that I think I got at Walmart. It was, a, no, Target. It was a holiday themed book, and it looks like we did some of the activities, but not all of them. Christmas themed, so I'm gonna take it out for now too. As well as this sticker face. This was another find where you put the stickers on the faces. We did a couple of them. <laughs> Actually, she might have done the whole, well, almost the whole book. That was very cute. So we're going to take that out too because it's kind of Christmas themed. This is a freebie from Chick-fil-A. It is a smaller version of the question table topics. So these usually are much larger and they come in bigger packs and they're really cool. So we use this a lot. She was so happy to ask the questions on here, especially now that she can read a lot better. And there's just questions on here. This one says, where is your favorite place at home? She just loved asking us questions and this was great for dinner conversation. So we loved this and we have a couple versions and they come back from time to time at Chick-fil-A and the kids meals. That was definitely a hit. This was also a hit, although you wouldn't know it because I've taken out the one she's done. It's a travel spirograph, which I've used in restaurant kits several different times and highly recommend. You put a post-it here, which is why I have my pad of post-its. And then inside you have your spirograph tools and pens to make your own spirograph. And it's a great size and I love that it's all compact and it fits all in here. So another win and we bring this back from time to time too. Here is our holiday blank book. Looks like we did several different things in here. So I think this is kind of filled, but it was holiday because of our little candy cane stripes on here. These come from the Target dollar section and I'm gonna put some new ones in to replace this. This right here is a smaller part of a larger game, which she's been kind of working through. So there's some cards in here and she's been matching up. This one was ending blends and digraphs. And so they had these cards and she would put the endings on them. And she loved these that I had to switch them out a couple times because it got to be too easy for her. This was definitely a hit and I'll show you the larger game here in a second because I'm going to pull another one out of there. We have some holiday stickers and then some lined paper that we wrote stories on which we've used so that was good. And then you guys, you guys, oh there's her spirograph stuff on the back of there. I think we are done with learning workbooks and <laughs> they are over it. I didn't want to do them. I asked them and they said no so I think they just have burnout on these and we might be done with little activity books which is sad but it's okay, we can move on to other things. So I'm gonna stop putting these in for a while and then maybe try to come back when we're in the summertime, not doing school. Looks like she did like one page, two pages. And then we have some more blank paper, which I don't know if she knew was there. These are markers that came from Dollar Tree. So time to restock. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my blank writing paper in here because they like using it and I know they will. So there's just a few pages in there. So that's gonna stay. I'm gonna add back in another blank book. This is just from my stockpile. Right now at Target, they have these in Valentine's Day themed. Um, here is one that I have that's been used up. This is one from uh, maybe a year or two ago, but if you want a Valentine's theme, now is the time to get them. They're about $3 for eight to pack, but they're just empty books. I show them to you every time and they can draw on them. But with that, I'm gonna bring back an older activity. This is from Lakeshore Learning. It was a trace and write story stencil, which work really well with these blank books. So there's a stencil on here and then some vocabulary words in which they can write a story. So I figured she could either use it in this blank book or write a story with the words on her lined paper. I don't put the whole package in, I just do pieces of it. So I'm gonna look for something, I'm gonna look for something that I think she would enjoy making a story about. Maybe if I find something that 
that's Valentine's Day related. That'd be cool. Ooh, a guitar. Let's do a guitar and dinosaur that goes with her dinosaur theme. And then maybe one more, throwing them all over the place here. We're gonna do this one, which is a capping glove. If you have larger activities and game sets like this, think about how you can break them apart and make them into just little smaller chunks like this. So I just took a couple out of here to use and we can have a whole bunch of other ones to use later. She's got a few different stencils and vocabulary word stories to use. She's also been working on her math facts. This is an older set from the Target Dollar section to help practice her math and so inside here are little flashcards and a dry erase marker and she's supposed to answer the math facts and she can just erase it. I want to put this in here because I know she just needs to have some extra work on her seven eights nines. Hopefully this will encourage her to get some practice in so when she's at school she can um, master those finally. Here is that larger set that I talked about just a while ago where this came out of and I think I might give her another one. She's almost done the whole set. I know she's well she's She's done this, I don't think she's done this one, word families, I can't remember. I need to write this stuff down. Okay, we're gonna try this one. I believe this has word families in it with some cards. And then she has to match the endings here to the right card. And she's done very well with doing this at the table and not spreading it around and making a mess. She's really good about that. So she, and that's another one of the rules that we have. You only take one thing out at a time. You don't take everything out in your activity kit or else you're gonna have a mess on your table. I wanna give her this one just so we can work on these because I know she likes them. So when I was pulling out Valentine's theme, I found in my stash these little mini books which are now at Dollar Tree if you want them now and they're just little blank books in their heart theme. I know I have a blank book already but because I have these from previous years I just wanted to use them up. I mean why not right? They're just blank books. I'm gonna put that in there as a little Valentine theme and then also stamps. These also are at the dollar section right now and they're little Valentine self-inking stampers. They're Valentine-esque little robot. Um, I'm gonna put one or two of these in their boxes just to play with. I did talk about these in my heart Valentine's activity video about ways to use these stamping or these self inking stampers for, for learning activities. So you can go back and watch that if you are interested in getting some ideas. Well, I got six, so let's do, let's do the robot. So she's got three little stampers there. I'm gonna try something new too, this one, this, this go around, I guess. So these are blank note cards and envelopes that I got on a really good bargain at Michael's. So I thought I could include a couple, maybe three, three envelopes. Let's just do a couple of colors here. And they can do their own Valentines, I thought, while we're waiting. So I thought that might be a fun, different thing for them to do. That means I need to include some stickers. A couple sets here. I think I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm gonna divide this one up. Oh, there's two in here. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. But this is just kind of a fun thing. Maybe they want to make some Valentines for their grandparents or for their older sister. So we're going to include that in here too. So she'll need something to write with. So we're going to go ahead and put back some of these markers. Here is what I found at Hobby Lobby. This was a Valentine Day craft foil art. I'm thinking it's like a scratch off. Let's see. The instructions say peel away section of artwork to reveal sticky surface and place foil color side up and rub with the stick to transfer. Here's the foil. And then here are the different cards you can do. Oh, these are so cute. And then you'll need a stick to transfer it. So I think that I'd give her the sloth and the be mine bunny. <laughs> A Valentine's Day bunny, why not? And then we'll just keep the foil in here and they'll have to share it and I'll give them each a stick. Maybe I'll just put it all back in here on this side here so it stays together. So something different and I thought that was kind of fun and it was a very affordable find at Hobby Lobby. I think there's one more thing that I wanna put in here. I found these cards at Dollar Tree. They're just a dollar, obviously, and they're kind of a new find and inside they have these, they're called Brain Busters. They have these really pretty picture cards and then on the back, there's questions like a true or false trivia question so I thought that might be a fun thing to do together because they liked that question game from Chick-fil-a so we're gonna put this in here and see what happens and I'll have to let you know if it went well next time we do an activity kit video says this is for ages six and up. So we'll see how that goes. I have some room for some of her crayons. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in here too. I usually have a case for her crayons, but this time we can just put it in like that. And then our test is if it all fits, it does. So this one is done. 
Moving on to my older daughter. Clean this out first here. Okay, so we did put in the cat's cradle game and we did play with it and she liked it and mastered it. I had to YouTube a few <laughs> bits of it to figure it out, but we did figure out cat's cradle. So she's now learned that. So that was kind of fun and different. Here is her little coloring book um, that she kind of used a little bit. And then we have her sticker face, which I think is the same case. Wasn't much of a fan of that. So I think that we're pretty much that's just old news for her. Too young, probably. She had her little table topics too, which went really well. She also gets gel pens usually, and then her markers. She still has her box. This was a draw with me book that I put in here that I don't think, yep, she didn't do it at all. Wah, wah. Such a shame. And then her sticker she didn't use. And she had a blank book, but I don't think she used this either. She really just did a lot of the cat's cradle. Story, blank book, and then once again, she's over the activity books for sure. I'm gonna keep her blank paper just like my other daughter and this one one-off storybook. It's like the last one I have. And then we're going to add some other stuff in here. Here's her new blank book with unicorns on it, once again from Target. I'll let her do the scratch art as well. So they'll put her pieces on the scratch art. This came from that Hobby Lobby kit. We're gonna pick out some envelopes and cards for her too because you know, if you have two kids and you don't treat them the same, then sometimes they don't like it. And I think that she would not be happy if she didn't get this too. This was such a bargain, you guys. I've already used like some cards out of here and it's been perfect. So we got her cards so she can make some cards and I got her stampers too. And fit really well in the corner. We got some Valentine stickers and a Valentine's notebook for her. I'm gonna put in her markers right back in there. And then she has, you guys remember, the? I just did a video on Rainbow Loom. You guys remember that? And I was talking about how I was thinking about putting Rainbow Loom stuff in a restaurant kit to see how it goes. And I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm not gonna put my full loom because I don't think it's gonna fit, but I am gonna pick, take this little piece here. I kind of still have the little bracelet that I showed you how to make. And then some of the rubber bands and they know they can share this because they both like doing this. So I'm just gonna put some here in this case. This is usually where I put their crayons, so I emptied it out. It just came from Daiso and it's nice and flat. And I'm gonna put some rubber bands in here. I wonder if this will fit in here. No, oh, it does. Awesome. So I can make a little kit here with her rubber bands and she can do rainbow loom. Now I am a little worried that there's a lot of pieces in my, lots of rubber bands. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, I don't want these all over the table, but you know what? They've been taking them anyway. Not all put together in a kit here. So I'm gonna just put a few in here. I don't know, might need more than that. So if they wanna do some bracelet making or keychain making or panda bear making, and I will have to tell you how this goes. So I have a little kit here. I hope it goes well. <laughs> There's one more thing that I wanna put inside of here that is from Think Fun, and that is this Minecraft magnetic travel puzzles. I think it's gonna fit in here just perfectly. I have those markers there. I might have to move the markers. Oh no, I think it's gonna work. Awesome, love that. This is what Think Fun sent me, and it is part of the giveaway. It is a magnetic travel puzzle. So I like anything that's magnetic because it works really well for travel and in the restaurant kit, and I like anything that's critical thinking, which is awesome. So I was really excited they were gonna send this to me. We do play Minecraft on the um, on the Nintendo Switch. So we're very familiar with what Minecraft is. And so let me just show you how it works real quick. And what's great about um, the Think Fun games is that they are one player. And so they're great to do for these activity kits that we make. Just got it out of the box here. This one is for ages eight and up. And so we are doing deductive reasoning in this and it's we're having a little bit of math and science and basically some computer programming as well. So here we open it up and we have our instruction manual, which are really, really well done. They always do a great job of explaining the games and explaining the pieces. So you have your instructions here and then we flip it over here to open the other side and we have our nine magnetic tiles over here. And then we have our challenge booklet, which is right in here. And then this has 40 challenges that go from beginner and they're all labeled all the way up to expert. And then they they also have the solutions as well. So everything is all in one kit all together. So that's what makes it great for traveling. Here is our game board with our pieces over there. So I'm gonna pop out all of our pieces. The basic premise is this, is that Ender Dragon is trying to prevent you from traveling to all the worlds. And you have 40 challenges in your path that you have to solve. And these are all critical thinking, which are fabulous. All right, we got all of our pieces out there. And this part over here is magnetic. So they're just gonna stick right to the board all together. So all these pieces are your Minecraft items and they come in three different symbols. We have our sword, there is a pix a pix axle, and we have armor. They also come in three different colors. So we have three different colors for each one. 
Woo, throwing things around. Three different colors for each shape. So let's see what we wanna start off with. Let's try this one right here. Each challenge is gonna show you some clues to solve the pattern that you need to complete over on your crafting table. So there's one clue here, label number one, and this one's label number two. This one gives me a color clue, and this one gives me the item clue of where they can be in the correct pattern. So you're only getting partial information. So you have to use reasoning and logic and deduction to find the one solution to the puzzle. Let's start across the top. It says that I'm going to have a gray one over in this corner and I have a pixaxle over here. So I'm going to put the gray pixaxle here. I need a yellow sword and probably a blue armor. And then I know I need a yellow something here, but I don't know what because that spot's not filled in. But I do know I need a blue pixaxle. So we'll place that there. I know a sword goes here, but I don't know what color. Going down to the bottom, I need another blue one here, but I don't know what. So I look at my items and I say, oh, I have one blue item left, so that must be a sword. And then, let's see here, I'm gonna need a sword here, a, a pixaxle here, but I have two armors left. So there's gonna be an armor in each one of these sections. But I know one armor has to be yellow, so I'm gonna put that there. So that must mean that goes here. Then I have two items left here. One's a pickaxe. there's a pickaxe there, and a sword there. So you're using deduction to figure out the puzzle, and then your answers are over here in the back. And I'm checking, and it looks like I solved the puzzle correctly. These challenges get much harder as you go all the way through, but each puzzle will have a different set of clues, and you have to combine the clues, use some reasoning, deduction to solve it. So this is a great, great, great game. You're really using your brains on this to solve it. Love that it's magnetic and travel and everything comes with you because look at this. It just folds right back up when you're done. All right, so let's see if it fits in our little restaurant kit so we can take it with us. Looks like I gotta shift some things around real fast. Oh, my box opened. Close that back up. There we go. We're set. So if you're interested in one of these, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you use your restaurant travel kit for. Do you use it for church? Do you use it for fun? Do you use it for the car? Do you use it? Ooh, I don't know where you use it. Tell me how you use your activity kits. I wanna know. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. I've hidden some secret bonus entry codes. So if you're looking for some more entries, you can look for those secret codes in social media and enter those when you go to the giveaway link down below. You guys, make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.